Hello and welcome to the Scandinavian Front. Now, one of the most common questions I get about the modification is how do you use radar guided missiles? Now, this is a bit tricky, but it's by no means difficult, but I thought I would release a video in order to show you. Now, the first thing we need to do is turn on our radar. We use the page up button for that, and using the page down button, we can circle the different ranges. Now, we have contacts on our radar, and we can confirm with our map to see exactly where our target, a number of TU-16 badgers are. So, we are maneuvering in order to lock, get them on the map. Now, then you use home to toggle one of the bandits and insert to get a lock. Now we have one of our RB-27s locked on the target. However, the TU-17s are still a fair distance away. We're gonna try to launch our first missile at the target. The RB-17 is not the most reliable of radar-guided missiles. However, against a large target like a bomber, it can engage even from ahead and the sides. So one of the bombers have bit the dust. We have three more missiles and we are now going to resume engaging the enemy from behind. Now when you are behind an enemy formation like this, there is a secondary way you can use to engage the target. First of all, you need to make sure that your speed is sufficient, and you will also need to keep an eye out for enemy fighters. Now, the map will show that we have four enemy fighters far away. These are, however, Flagons, and they do have radar guided missiles by themselves. Now, you can use insert, you can press page up one more time, and you will be locking your missile into what's known as beam rider mode. So we're gonna use that, we're gonna speed up a bit so we stay within the range. Beam riding is only useful, and I want to really emphasize this, only useful when your target is pretty much not going to make any turns and you have the target in visual. Now the beam rider will show you a standard lock here. So we are currently locked on, we're gonna fire our second missile. Box one. And now we need to really keep the target in our crosshairs. So the missile can ride our radar beam to the target. That was successful. Now we can push page up again. Then we'll use home to select the target. Then we'll use insert to lock on that target. Fox 1. However, a friendly aircraft just appeared in the sky. Unfortunately, we did not lock upon it. But as you can see on the radar screen, deciding which target to actually engage can be tricky. We reset our radar. We are moving to select another target. And we need to also check how many bombers are actually left. Please keep in mind that we, while we only have one missile left for the purposes of this demonstration, there is also friendly aircraft in the sky. We have one of our own Drakens moving in to engage with its cannon. In this circumstance, I would prefer to just switch to beam rider mode and make sure that my target is not the rocket who is bravely engaging those bombers. Now, he will wear off eventually, but... or get shot down, considering he just pulled his air brakes. That's a stupid move to do against him. Oh, and he's out of ammo now, too, so... Hopefully he'll just break off and let us handle this. Nah. He got shot down by the tail gunners, and that, boys and girls, is why we stay so ba far back. Uh, the bombers are currently in somewhat of a turn here, so we are gonna slow down a bit. We're gonna reset our radar. We 
gonna pick a target and we are gonna deploy our last missile. Box one. Now, we were so close to the target that the missile did not actually start to track. Uh, this can happen from time to time, and especially when you are too close to the target. Radar guided missiles do require a fair amount of distance. So, when you are closing to this kind of distance using heat seeking missiles, such as the Sidewinder, is preferable. Now, we're gonna move in with guns and see if we can't get at least one of them. We took off with four missiles. We hit with three, wasted one, so... And our wingman can take care of some. We also have flagons coming up behind us, and that's not good at all. Guns, guns, guns. We got the guy. We must have hit it straight in the bomb bay, but we're not going to chance it. We're not going to engage more of them. Instead, we are going to turn against those flagons and cover our wingman. Crap. Oh, crap. This is not good. The flagons have engaged us. And here is the chance on ha learning how to evade a radar missile. Usually diving straight to the ground is a decent tactic, especially against older missiles. Doing sharp maneuvers will also shake the missile's lock. If you have electronic countermeasures or chaff, either one do will do fine. Uh, you can use those to try and distract the missile or break the lock. Here comes the Flagon. Full speed. The thing does not have any gun pods, so we ha have supremacy in a close range fight. So, if you do not have any radar guided uh, crap, his wingman just fired on us. <coughs> the best way to avoid enemy radar guided missiles is usually to stay outside the launch envelopes. If you can't avoid that, and then that this happens. We got four Flagons shooting us down, so all we can do now is eject and hopefully be better prepared for another day.